Hi everyone, this is Alf Actinus here with the Actiris team. Today we have another exciting use case for you around the sales and operation planning process, specifically around how you can take your production plan and move it to the financial planning process once you have completed your production plan. Now, before we get into this, one thing we wanted to quickly talk about was a challenge that many companies face when it comes to aligning their demand, production plan, and financial planning process. Typically, these are done in very different ways, and having to aggregate the data and move it into a new process can be quite challenging, especially when companies have very siloed off processes. With Actiris, this becomes very easy to do with the ability to be able to copy and aggregate data utilizing our Actiris visuals and moving that data from one queue of where it could be planned to another queue where it can be planned. But before we talk about moving our data into the production plan, we also want to emphasize the importance of making sure that all of your data from a product standpoint and from a capacity standpoint has no issues. We can see here that for the production planning status, we can see that there's a few products right here that have capacities in certain weeks that are, ex are exceeded by the supply replenishment requirements in that given week. So we can see here for this week right here, February 12th, for quantum assembly plan, that particular production plan, in the region USA, this particular product has a capacity issue. So what we can do before we go ahead and kick off the process to move all of our production planning data to the financial planning data, uh, data set, we can go ahead and drill into this particular product and the other ones to go ahead and make these adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to move quickly to my rough cut capacity planning for this particular product, G515. And we can see here that we have a few products where the supply replenishment is being exceeded. So what we have the ability to do is we have the ability to edit this particular, these particular values and make adjustments accordingly. So we can see right here that we have a total of, if we multi-select, 2,700 quantity in given, in given weeks for this particular production plant that need to be moved appropriately so that we can meet this particular supply replenishment while not exceeding our capacity production plants. We can see that a few of our other production plants aren't being utilized, so we can actually start to move our data over there so that we can actually utilize. So what I'm going to go ahead and do right here is I'm going to go ahead and click off of these values right here. And I'm going to first start by moving the quantity for this given value in between these production plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this to 400 to ensure that we're able to reduce the quantity, but still produce the same quantity, but in different plants. And work with my teams accordingly to ensure that that product is moved to the appropriate area for the demand. Next thing I'll do is I'll work on the next two set of weeks where we're having this issue. So we see here that the next week is March 11th. So I can go ahead and use that multi-select feature and then selecting these two weeks right here for the supply replenishment, I can change my values to 450, splitting the value up while still keeping the same total. Finally, right here, we have our last product. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move this particular product by using the multi-select feature to multiple production plants to ensure that the bag can be met. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and move to these four production plants and reduce the quantity to 250. Hitting save right here, we can now see that our alert button has went away and we are now all good with this particular product. All of our production plant capacity is in line and we're going to be able to produce this particular product for the demand that's coming up. Heading back to our RCCP plant submission page, we can see that the product is no longer showing us an error and we can continue to do this for the remaining products before going ahead and checking off this button here to start to move our production plan data to the financial planning queue to begin the financial planning process. And just like that, your managers as well as peers can concurrently come in here and edit these products to ensure capacities are being met to ensure that everything is in line to meet the, to meet the demand plan from a production standpoint before moving over to the financial plan. So I hope you enjoyed this use case right here. Thank you. And this is Alpha Actives with the Actiris team signing out.